is, you know, just finding new and fun ways to, to make the most of these streams, you know, that, uh, you know, what can we do during the intros that shake it up a little bit? Is there, you know, can we engage the, the chat more for the first 10 minutes of the show, have something in place that's fun, a game with some sort of a way to communicate polls or whatever, you know, that, uh, have a, we'll have trivia questions about the game. Tri online. Trivia questions, or, or yeah, I think just fun, fun ways to to connect before we get into the game that we're going to play, and then a clear sense of how we decide if we're going to continue to play the game or if we're going to move on to another one. You know, I think. Actually, you know what we should do. And that could be a, that could be something we could do with the fans too. Like wait, wait, when I play with my kids, we watch a movie or we'll watch something, and no one's really sure. We'll go, okay, let's watch twenty minutes, and then we're gonna stop the movie in twenty minutes, and we're gonna decide if we want to keep going, and then yeah, we vote on it. But that's what we decided to do with uh, Wheel of Curtis and the games. I think that, for example, with games that we already decided that we should play, like this one. We always wonder why in the following streams there are less viewers, given that, I don't know, the first the first uh, episode, the first part has 1,000 views, then the second part has 800, then the third part has 600. And so, I think that maybe at the end of each live stream, we just ask the people who are currently viewing if they want us to continue playing the game. And having a poll that, um, in which the people who are watching right now are participating will give us a clear indication whether or not they'll stick around for subsequent episodes. Totally. Yeah, I think, uh, I think more. Yeah, we should be a little more, you know, we should have like a, at the end of every stream, a, we have to decide, do we like this? Before we, we bring it up, you know, before we make it a vote of it, to, the, um, we can say how, whether we want to keep going. <clears throat> and then we, we see if folks will want to continue to watch it. And uh, yeah, anyways, we got to keep... Uh, Here, Joseph Austin said, I've even seen it happening on Gang Brums. People don't like to join in mid-series. They're more interested in joining the start. Well, they can watch the start, but they, 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 then they don't stick around for some reason. That's Screwing the problem. Thing. You're not supposed to engage with the chat during the uh, okay. pre-show. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Conversations with Curtis. How's it going? Day three of three days in a row of Conversations with Curtis gaming stuff. Uh, hope you guys are doing well. Happy Wednesday. Uh, I'm Paul. I am the the Curtis. <laughs> I'm Paul, and I am the Curtis of this channel. So uh, thanks for joining, and I, we're super excited to be playing Grim Fandango today uh, in honor of the Day of the Dead. I've heard a lot about this game. It's definitely going to be right up our alley, right in our wheelhouse, and I hope uh, I'm excited to play it. Uh, for those of you who have who joined me yesterday, finishing up my play of the Stanley Parable, what an amazing game! I love that's my new favorite game of all time. I think, pretty much. I mean, I think I still love Inside and Little Nightmares, but this was in its own of its you know this was all by all by itself in its own thing. I I loved it. Um, and if you guys, thanks for joining me for those of you who did, who did, whoever didn't. And if you've never played the game before, I highly recommend either playing it or uh, going back and watching uh, my playthrough. It's only three parts. Did the whole game in three parts. Not bad. Um, good to see you guys. I see MDQP. There you are, Ozzy. Ozzy's there. Uh, girl fan, you're back. Good to see you, Joseph. Velvet Tea Cake. Glotz. Having a snowy Wednesday. Well, that's a uh, welcome, welcome. Um, 
what else happy halloween i hope you guys you know gave out some candy or went to a costume party or whatever curious what you guys all did anybody have some fun stories about your your halloween this year uh all right let's uh say thank you to our patreon members patreon and coffee members there they are thanks you guys so much for continuing to support us on a monthly basis and keeping conversations with curtis going um malika chandler francois damagella robbie Moffat Reborn, Yuma81 and Corpachu being our top donors, and then our $10 and $20 donors on either side. You guys are the best. Uh, for those of you who are also uh, members, but at a lower level, your names will appear at the very end of this stream. And if you are in a position to help us and support us on a monthly basis, please consider doing that. And if you can't, we're certainly taking one-time donations. And if you are a top donor during our one-time donation weekly challenge, you get to have your name in the top seven. Oh, dang, I'm backwards. There it is. Top seven uh, uh, over the 30 days. And those, and we announce those every stream. So this time we are, we're pretty consistent. CJ at number one, Jwex at number two, Ray Koopa at number three, Ozzy Astroth, CompuArt, CompuArt, and Moffat Reborn. Thanks for everyone. Um, yeah, excited to play Grim Fandango. Why don't we bring out Grim Dan Fango to join me? There he is. What's Hi. up? How are you? <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. I'm okay. Good. We're just going to respond yeah, exactly. Great, great timing. Yeah, very good. Uh, tell me about this game. When's the first time you played it? What what uh, what did you love about it? Did it surprise you? Was it? What was your experience playing this game? So I first played this game when it came out in 1998, and at first, I didn't like the controls. We're currently playing the, we'll play today the remastered version, which was released in 2015, in which mouse support was added. So it became a point and click adventure game. But back then, it wasn't a point and click adventure game. You'd move with a keyboard, you know, like a, th a 3D action game. So I didn't like that at first. But after I got used to it, it was, uh, it was one of my favorite. It became one of my favorite adventure games in the genre that is not point-and-click adventure games, given that it's not a point-and-click adventure game. But we're playing it as a point-and-click. Yeah. And that's what it's going to Okay, so they were able to... Did they decide... When did the remastered version come out? 2015. So after all those years, they thought, eh, this should have been a point-and-click after all. They, they realized the error of their ways and decided to add that that option. Yeah, you know... And, and function. On Sunday, um, we had the premiere of my conversation with Brett Mogilevsky, who is the lead developer in this game. And I asked him if there was any technical difficulty in adding mouse support back then. Like, was it something that was not possible? But he said that it was possible to add mouse support, but Tim Schafer believed that this game, unlike other LucasArts adventure games should can the, the entire screen should consist of the game. You don't need a cursor to hide certain things. You don't need the verbs because the verbs themselves are, are actions that you can use, uh, you, you can activate using the keyboard. So he wanted the clean design. So that's why they didn't have mouse support back then, but now we have it because it's something that's expected. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm. So first of all, I I I tried to make a, a pun of your name with Grim Fandango, and mm -hmm. I don't know what I said. It was it was I was on the right track, but then uh, Joseph said Grim Dan Fango. That's a good one, and then uh, Niku just said Grim Fan Daniel. That's the <laughs> that's better. <laughs> that's even better. It's great. Um, <clears throat> all right, before we move on to the game, Daniel and I were. We're meeting prior to this game, talking about uh, our setup, our, our visual setup. So right now we have uh, a screen shot of the game we're about to play behind us. I think it looks awesome. Daniel was saying, of course, he agrees it looks awesome because it's a really cool art. But he's of the opinion that our background in general 
has to be sort of a a moving video kind of go go to show show them my, the 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 scene of me at the very beginning. It was just my my intro scene. So something like this, this sort of moving background, uh, sort of professional looking, you know, background here. Now you can go back to us again, and that this is static and doesn't have as much of a professional look to it as the other one. To me, that other one feels generic and kind of doesn't say anything about our channel. It doesn't tell us, it doesn't tell you who we are and what we're all about. So I was saying maybe we come up with something that's specific to our channel, maybe specific to Phantasmagoria 2, um, maybe with some video elements to it. I also like the idea of putting every time we play a new game that we have their artwork behind us, but that becomes a little bit tedious because Daniel has to go find the artwork and then upload it onto OBS and all that. But I am curious what your guys' thoughts are. So think about it. Give us your thoughts. In Here, the they, they all agree with Paul. See, thank you. It's just, I think he needs to, he needs, where, where are you? This way. You, you need to remember that I am the genius. Well, no, you're the you're a genius. I'm. You just need to remember that I'm. I got I got some smarts too. Okay, got it. You know when you when you watch the the news, for example, or any type of show that has a green screen, you never see a static background. And I'm traumatized by burn-ins in LED screens. I, for example, have an LG sixty-five inch LED. TV. And during the pandemic, my daughters watched um, a kid's channel. And that kid's channel had a yellow logo at the bottom of the screen that had the website. And that yellow logo is now burned into my TV. Like everything I watch has that logo. So I can watch Ooh. Dune and have babyfirst.co.il burned into my TV. So that's why I'm not a big fan of static images. I, I, I feel like you are um, traumatized and that you are not thinking clearly because of this one experience that has happened to you and continues to haunt you. I, I don't think static images in general are going to, to, to create the havoc that that one did. Sure they would. Miguel, that's that's the <laughs> idea. Melissa Miguel just agreed that I am smart. Dash dash dash. Until you start playing games, why well, yeah, yada. Um. So, anyways, thoughts. We, you know, I, I like this personally. I like this. And if they were moving in the background, that would be great too. But, uh, but I do want. I no, do you know, wanna... I'm, I'm not saying that it has to move. The background itself can be a a still image, but it has to have another layer of movement above it so that it would look still. So, for example, if we'll, that, use, that yeah, if we'll use be? our background and then, I don't know, change it, change the, the opacity to something else, then maybe it would look good. Wait a second, let's, let's see what I can do. So, for example, you see, this has the movement of the background. You see the movement? But it has the static image, so it's not static anymore. Okay, I mean, I, I see, I see that. I like that. I don't know if this is the right background for this image, so maybe. A, but I, I see what you're saying. I think there's potential there. All right, this is good. So it, this it, way we can use even low resolution images, and then it wouldn't look too, too shabby. Yeah. All right. Well. All right. Well, we'll. we'll uh, Put a pin in this for now, and then uh, and then we'll go. Um, <laughs> uh, what else do we want to say that before we start? Anything else that we need to? Uh, uh, so tomorrow, I might try to start that Kentucky Route Zero game. Um, everybody's saying that it's probably a better game suited for a solo stream because it's got so much text. And it's so quiet and kind of um, moody. 
Uh, so I might try that tomorrow. Uh, and then Friday, my guess is Daniel and I are going to continue with this. We actually have this crazy idea. You want to tell them what our crazy idea is? Yeah, to keep playing Green Fandango until we finish it. Just play one game until we're done playing and finishing it. Not just switch. We'll have to play. We're definitely playing Phantasmagoria with Tori on Friday and, and special guest. And we don't, and the special guest that we have lined up is not Roberta Williams, though. We're doing our best to get her to join us. Um, oh, by the way, I reached out to Dean Erickson again, and he very kindly and very promptly responded and said, no, I, I don't want to talk. Uh, I've never been turned down with such kindness uh, so regularly that I feel like we've become friends uh, with with not him saying no. But anyway, maybe he's got he, aut automated responses on his Gmail account. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Like a canned um, response that's sent every time someone mentions <laughs> Gabriel Knight. I don't know. It seems personal enough. Um, maybe he's just an AI. Hey, XXX. Sorry, I can't join your live stream. Right, right. Um, so, yeah, we're going to just... We, I have a feeling we're going to all love this game. I think most of you know it and love it. And since I've never played it, we're just going to power through this, make this the game we play. We haven't done one game all the way through in a long time. So that's that's the current plan. We'll see how long that lasts. So, um, so, so right. jo Joseph Austin says Dean is an entre entrepreneur. He may be very busy with the project. Maybe, but on his LinkedIn page, he has the, the green circle around his profile image that says open for work. So the answer is no. He just hates it. He just doesn't want to talk about it. Yeah, when someone wants to shut the door on their past, that's that's their prerogative. That's okay. All right, let's play some Grim Fandango. Welcome. Uh, I saw a new person. Who was it? I Ibel, Ibel the Zombie. Welcome. And Chris Munton. No, oh, I've seen you before. Thanks. All right. Oh, okay. here we go. I think I even get the controls, right? What up? Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. <laughs> take me? Take me where? No, no. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? Feels like uh, a... No. It's Wallace and just Gromit. your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your <laughs> friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What <laughs> journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top-of-the-line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. I bet you mm -hmm. he doesn't qualify. Were these voices mm -hmm. part of the original game? Yep. Well... Really? The bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Voting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ha! Yes, that's the ticket. This the Excelsior great. Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. <laughs> oh, I can't be here I until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. <laughs> hey, Manny, right. the boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He 
He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don right, not to love. worry. Oh, I was I I'm thought we were going to be the other guy. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't <laughs> qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hey, you got a tip $10. This has one of the best soundtracks of all time. Rub Kava is an all-time great locale. Enjoy, Paul. Hey, Victor, es thank you. And before we, we go on a second, just by the way, I saw that you love this game, and so I, I'm glad you're here, and thanks for the donation. And what a uh, what a coincidence that your your donation uh, turned up the Dean Erickson uh, widget, uh, of all things. I'm, I'm starting to think that the stream elements has... Uh... Has a um, has a special AI that's became yeah. conscious, and now it's mocking us on our streams. You know, I I'm I've already loved this. This is funny. It, it's they're setting it up really well. The voice acting is amazing. This voice acting was the mm -hmm. exact voice acting that was implemented in 1998. Yeah, don't forget that uh, LucasArts are a subsidiary of Lucasfilm, so they knew how to get voice actors. Mm -hmm. When did they begin implementing voice actors in the game itself, like as opposed to putting it in later, like Monkey Island? When did they say, okay, you know what? We need the voice voices now. Well, the the first game that had both a talky version and a floppy version was Day of the Tentacle. It was released at the same time. But around 1993, they started releasing games that had a floppy version with voices. So oh, they, wow. they released Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis. And then at the end of 1993, they uh, released Seven Max Hit the Road along with the floppy version. So 1993 was the year in which Danny Delk became a major player. It. Yeah. <laughs> the... Well, it's it's so uh it's so good. And it's got it's got a great setup. Um I can't imagine that the folks who made Coco uh didn't spend a little bit of time playing this game. Yep. Um, and, and for back then to take this, this, you know, worldwide, uh, holiday that Americans really knew nothing about and to make a, a game of it, super smart, really, really awesome. Oh, I'm, I'm in it. And I like that he's, he's, a, he's a struggling, uh, you know, grim reaper. I, I think that's, that's, that's fantastic. All right, let's go. So the interesting thing about this remaster, unlike other remasters, is that, wait, since since they didn't have the original 3D uh, files for the background, they couldn't recreate the backgrounds. So they had to use the original ones, which is why, unlike the other remasters that were recreated in, full, in widescreen, this one still has the 4x3 oh, okay. aspect ratio. So the only thing that they actually remastered, apart from adding mouse support, is the textures themselves. And you can see that the textures look new and pristine, unlike the backgrounds, which seem upscaled. So another thing they added was the lighting. So if I switch to the original version, then you can see that Manny... Oh, yeah has one color, has certain lighting that doesn't match the fact that over here there are blinds on the window. So you see he has a shadow, which is fine, but he doesn't have any special Looks lighting like I got a message. because of the window. But if we switch to the remastered version, then you can notice that we have lighting that matches the blinds oh, on the window. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very cool. So All right, let me play. Cool. Let me play. Play the game. Give me, give me. You have to give it. Oh, there we go. So I can go here. Yeah. Uh, let's pick up a message. Nice. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from 
Office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases, so all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Wait, so... Whatever so you say, th Iffy. They're... They're going to pick up the most recently dead. Like, th th these, these are people that just got killed in a big car accident, and now... They're saying, go get them. Food poisoning. Them. Okay. Um, hey, Chris. Chris Christodoulou is And you here. see, when he smokes, it, it has specific lighting for the cigar. You um, see the, the light from the cigar. Yeah, that's great. Uh, and he's fidgeting. We got some fidgeting going on here. All right, so I still... He's like a... It's kind of like he's an insurance salesman, but he needs to... Is, is the goal to get as many souls as he can, or we not He's know selling that travel packages, so... To the underworld, to the whatever... Okay. Land of the dead. Yeah, so, um, the, the actress, the voice of the secretary sounds like the gal from uh, Ghostbusters. Um, I forgot her name. She was a great... She was a good character actor. Someone just said... Sounds like Lucy from Twin Peaks. Okay, lots of good stuff here. Okay, so, so I should keep looking around. So in the original game, you'd have the inventory. You'd walk around the the location, and he'd move his head. And according to his head movements, you'd know what he's looking at. But since we have mouse controls, you can click on things. And on the bottom right, you have the inventory. That's my inventory right there? Yeah. So... You can flip through items, so this is your scythe. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. All right, that's all we got so far, right? You, you right. can flip with a uh, um, with the scroll wheel. Scroll wheel. Oh, this thing. That's it. Just those two things, right? It's some sort of special work order. That's the one we just got. Okay, gotcha. Uh, so I should probably go find those those guys. Let's see, we're gonna pick some stuff up. Nice. I pick this up. What other things to pick up? Uh, Not picking that up. Not picking that up. Um, I, there has to be things in here to look at, right? There's got to be things that we need to. Although we just got the work order. Come here, pick up. Yeah. It's a deck of cards. Yeah, let's pick it up. Yeah. Better take there these cards. They look. They look what? And when you pick up something, then you have it in your hand, and then you can place it in the inventory by clicking on it. This is how you flip. I don't through. feel like pitching cards right now. Okay, so I got cards, books. My boss is always giving me these motivational sales books. They bought the farm, now sell them the cows, stuff like that. Just trying to read them already. Didn't help. All right, so they're just giving us a, some stuff to do while we're here. Anything to look at here? You can, uh, I, you know me, Daniel. I'm just gonna look at a bazillion things. If you want to tell me to kind of no, scoot along, no, we're gonna we're gonna get the full experience. Um. So how about the window? Anything over in the window? Given the fact that we've okay. decided, given the fact that we've decided to play this game all the way through, and no matter how many live streams it takes, so I'd like you to experience the game in full. I didn't, uh, I didn't say however long it takes. Um, okay, so I guess we gotta get not picking okay. that up. Okay. Um, anything else? So there's that. That's a thing. There's a thing. Not portable. I like the way it moves. All right, oh. Ah. All right, let's take a look at it then. What's happening? All right. 
What's the one on the right? The, there's the grabbing use. one. There's the eyes. Use. Okay. My computer gives me instant access to our database of deadbeats. Oh, should we check out the computer? Well, you looked at it. You can use it if you want. Oh, okay. There we go. Use it. Look at that. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. Patizambo tipped $20. One of my favorite, the most accessible of the Lucas Arts adventures. Hey, the most accessible! Wow, that's a first. Do you think? Well, wait a minute. First of all, thank you so much, and you're a new name to me. So thanks for joining, and thank you so much for your contribution. And I'm, I can't say that i i don't know enough about the game yet to know if it's accessible i don't know why daniel was had the response that he did but it's super cool uh, it's it's easy to maneuver and uh, it's very clean in terms of what you what the actions are and all the other stuff why why did you, you see even even nelson says accessible now i feel dumb you know unlike <laughs> other lucas arts games which which are um, easier this one is pretty long and has some obtuse puzzles, so... Uh, okay. Well, maybe he means more along the lines of maneuverability, um, knowing what your goal is, like, you know, going from here to there. Uh, how do I... how do I save? It wants me to save. No, it doesn't want you to save, it just reminded you that autosave is not something that's part of the game, so you need to save manually, just like in the good old days. Oh, let's go here. Domino's door is locked. Probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. Okay, we gotta steal a file later. I'm gonna I'm gonna write some notes down for myself. I'm gonna be a good gamer today. So steal Domino's notes. Like Tyrone is saying, Escape from My Cannon had the same engine and suffered from the same uh, navigation problems. And I guess that you also noticed that in this game, it's very reminiscent of FMV games, in which yeah. the camera angle changes several yeah. times inside the same room. Yeah, and it's really cool. It's very cinematic. It's great. I, I like that very much. Okay, what do we do here? Let's go talk, let's talk to our friend here. Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? <laughs> at the poisoning. <laughs> Well, we know about the poisoning. That's what nice. poisoning? The Code 3 gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you! Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Was there... where was the poisoning again? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud, he'll know. Okay, we have a driver, that's cool. Uh, I forget, am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Oh, we get the funny responses! Uh, oh. I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? Yes, definitely. What's my job? Yes. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. I one I give this 50 points for fantastic exposition. There's the way they're handling this is great. Well, enough about me. What's well, enough about like? me. What's your job like? Like babysitting, except I don't get to watch TV. What if we just skip town tonight? tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks stretching. for the offer, but we like never I'm make it out of the city alive. But in one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trap soul and you don't even know it. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Good tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the fat days is none of your business. You know the rules. I am loving this. Just one more question about my job. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. 
Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. All right. But that sounded more like four messages to me. <laughs> you know, I don't even need to play anymore at this game. I just, I just give it a thumbs up all the way through. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I, I want to know boss, who this actress same as was. You, she was Don amazing. Coppel. Come on, I know you work for another man besides Don. This just can go on forever. Come on, I, I know you work for another man besides Don. Well, well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Busy as ever, I see. Where is everybody? So you going to the Christmas party? Well, I got to hit the room. I might as well keep going here. Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. Where, Where is, is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the, oh, dead. Day of the dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Why aren't you visiting your family? Boy, we could be here forever. We got a long... Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I want to see. And Cal. you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? Yeah, Domino's He's at the poisoning Domino's right now, stealing your commission. So, you going to the Christmas party? So, you going to the Christmas party? After the spectacle you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, mm. tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. All right, off we go. Fantastic. Can I go in here? Is this Domino's? That's Domino's, so it's locked, right? Or is that a different door? Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. All right, fair enough. All right, we're out of here. Let's go to the poisoning. Is there anything on the desk I should have grabbed? All right, uh, I'm going to go unless you tell me I need to grab something. You can go. Okay. Then the officer says, take notes, save often, have fun. All right. Um... Should I, you, when anytime you feel like we should save, just jump in and save for us, okay? okay. So I can well, go that see. way. So I have two ways to go. I can go down here and I can go to the door. Oh, I can go three ways. Oh my goodness, so many options. So just think that we had to navigate by moving many ourselves without knowing all of the directions that we can go. Yeah, that must have been. I think they made the right call making this a point and click. I, I can't imagine. So there's really nothing to do here. There's only why why they let me go this way if there's nothing to do. Um, That's the beauty of uh, immersion. There are useless rooms and there are things useless just room. to set the mood yeah titanic what is it not that i have a choice but i wonder if i'd be happier working on a ship and again i'm so competitive i wouldn't be able to relax until i was captain okay we're, we're competitive that's good nothing to do here nothing to pick up here what's this there's the solstice is saying would you have would you have to navigate Resident Evil style if it wasn't for the mouse? Yes. Ah, Just the old head of the department, way before my time. I heard he was a total slave driver. You'd move Manny using the WASD buttons. The same thing, it's all the same thing. Okay, nothing really to do here. I guess we gotta go. Let's go. Double click to get down the stairs. 
I got two ways to go. Which way do I go? Is there a map or anything? Is there a way to... Oh, I can get him to run if you double click. Whoa. Well, what? Hey, you want to run to Rubacava? What's that? You want to run to Rubacava? I guess we'll come into we'll get to a this thousand later, kilometers right? from here. All right, looks like we got another. <laughs> All right, let's run this way. Oh no, cancel. Ah, I like the running. That's good. So, uh, Le Zombie asks if there was a button to run. Yeah, you'd hold the shift button and then run. Just like in those games. Oh, okay. a clown. Oh boy. It's gonna be funny, I'll bet. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing what? Wringing your neck. What does it look like? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. Okay, a cat. Rubber frost. Trying to stump me, eh? Oh, Ta da! That's so good. Uh, that's good. Alright. Do I want the cat? No, let's see. What else? It's too funny. I don't know about it. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, oh, jeez. What now? Okay. A cat. <laughs> no problem. Ta-da! Ta-da! Alright, what else do we got here? What's that for your tent? I want to see the parade. Some festival, huh? Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Can you teach me how to do that? Well, um, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! I don't need another balloon animal, I don't think. Some festival, huh? Yeah. Yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue, but that doesn't seem to shut you up, <laughs> now does it? <laughs> Who wrote this stuff? This is great. Ah, Beam Schaefer. Another one. Lousy, bony fingers. I guess I do want another balloon animal. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Ah, jeez. What now? Is there a read? Do I need one? Does it matter? I don't know. Maybe dead you worm? need another dead worm. A dead worm. Heck, that's easy. Uh, I didn't even have to do There's the no limit on those. How do I get through here? Um... I want to go through. I guess I gotta leave. That was one. Oh, there's three different things. This one. Ah. There we go. Oh, I gotta get by him somehow. Or not. Or not. Um, but maybe you should check out the other tent. I was trying. This one here? It's not letting me go over there. 
maybe there is something over there. Just like in the bunker, move your cursor around and try to find things to click on. Uh, oh god. No, I got that dude. You killed the music. Oh, there's this. Who killed the music? You, going back and forth. Those crates are completely blocking the sidewalk. What if there were a fire? What? I gotta start a fire? Wait a minute. Like bro says, yeah, losing Team Schaefer really hurt Escape from Monkey Island. But you know, Tybrone, Tim didn't help with the writing of Curse of Monkey Island. Huh. Um... Why am I lost already? Let's see, what am I supposed to Take do? the mouse cursor, move it around the stall over here with the bread. Over here. And maybe there's something you can pick up. Oh, like, I, it, didn't, it didn't come... It didn't come like a me. loaf of bread. I thought that I... Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. Uh, can I use it? How do I... Can I eat it? I get crumbs all over. I get crumbs all over. Alright, um... So, now I need to start a fire. Or you could keep exploring. Go back out of here. Those crates are completely blocking the sidewalk. Okay, so this way then, I guess. Let's go this way. So the, the main this problem, the main problem with Escape from Monkey Island was two things: one, the navigation, and two, the the riding. Double click. So basically the whole game. I always say that uh, Escape from Monkey Island is not a bad game. It's just a bad Monkey Island game. I don't like the way that eye is looking at me. What do we do? And, and, I, and that's I, why I, I got the I got Mike Stemley for an Hello? interview. Our our Patreon members can watch the interview, and I basically talked to him the entire interview about not picking that up. Why Escape from Monkey Island kind of sucked. This is a, a trap door that we're gonna deal with later, I imagine. Oh, I'm gonna climb up this thing. There we go. Uh, there you go. So let's do that. Use. Seems like a lot of. Why, why is it so hard to just get into a, the festival? Don't they want it to be available? This is great. Oh, I'm in uh, Domino's office, right? It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Not now, Eva. I'll have to wait. I'm in the middle of a very important meeting. Didn't I say no interrupt to say whatever it is? I'll have to wait. Let's select one. Is there more? Ah, oh, Christ. Eva, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. Oh, that's a good one. That went that one. I'll just change his auto response here. Ah, oh, Christ, Eva, just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. Yeah, it means we can get her to do something for us. Uh, what else? What else can we do in here? We're missing Memo out from on all the of desk us. of Don Copal. Hey, work orders are assigned by my office and are not exchangeable among salesmen. Swapping, selling, and specially stealing work orders will result in severe disciplinary action. Right. Good to know. Can I pick that up? Is there stuff to pick up? Pick everything up. I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. Okay, so we gotta get out of here. We did the thing that we needed to do, it sounds like the game just told me. 
and now I got to get out of here. So I go back down the way I came, or do I go out the? Yeah, go out the door. That'll be no. No. She'll see you. They're not even letting me have that option. I love that he starts smoking when I take too long to make a decision. Can't go up here. That ain't good. That's going to come in handy at some point. Okay. I like this classic sort of old music, very, very film noir type. All right, now what? Let's get out of here. How about this? No? Okay. So I think it seems like I've done all I need to do at the moment. Now, how do I get in here? Yeah, I'm staring you right. I am lost. I need help. What do, how do I? What do I do? So I Let's come, go find go. our driver. We need to go to the poisoning. Oh, I guess for some reason I thought the poisoning was here. Okay, sorry. Now I'm in the street. Ah. Oh, I sold so many car travel packages when I was first starting out. When did I lose my edge? We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. Well, what the heck? Uh, there's a car. Yeah, but you need to find your driver. And, also, that may not be your car. So, as far as I know, I have here, there's the, there's here, where we've been. Mm -hmm. There's... Uh, in, back inside, maybe? Yeah. He wasn't in here. Yeah. He wasn't down here. I think but, the, but do you remember at the office? There were ah, two. Never mind. Okay. Let's see. Where am I on this? Don Copal, Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. <laughs> Wait, I can't. I want to see my driver. Where's my driver? Uh, do you Let's remember? See. Where am I on this? Next the to your sales associates. Oh, that that better answer. not be me. Uh, Take, the sorry, Take the elevator. Take the elevator. Take Now they oh, remember okay. over here that we have another one. Another elevator. What? I did not know we had another What is it that's so satisfying about hearing the, the hard sound of footprints on concrete? It ASMR was kind of It was a technological achievement back then. That's why it's so. So we just came out of there, right? No. We just came out of the elevator. Can't go through on foot. People have tried, but they never came back. What? Oh, okay. Uh, so let's go find my driver. Come on, man. This one. <laughs> what? Here's what I need. Wheels. 
Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. Alright, alright, what's this stuff? This, this, this. Boy, oh boy, you're already making it hard for me, aren't you? Um. Uh, what else? Is I can't utilize it, I can't pick it up. Maybe take Ooh, like I might arrow. get hurt if I try to get one Just down by someone. myself. This one. Hey, service. <laughs> hey, who the? <laughs> oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. Hey, you a driver? Me? Ha! No, 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 no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. <laughs> I don't get many visitors. Hey, I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver <laughs> said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day off. Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Oh, man, I need a new driver. Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, Steve Bailey you would have do. been a great voice for this. Now you probably wondered where Glotz in the chat got his name. You want to be my replacement ah. driver? Me? Oh, oh no! Sorry, can't rules. <laughs> Nelson Miguel, that's my inner monologue. Uh, Gladys, Gladys, is that a German name? Gladys? Gladys? Is that a German name? Oh, no. My roots lie not in any earthly nation's soil. I am an elemental spirit summoned up from the land of the dead itself and given one purpose, one skill, one desire to drive or to change <laughs> oil and adjust timing belts if no driving jobs are open. Oh, he's going to be my driver. Come on, man. Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. No, I can't. I'm, I'm, I'm too big. You're not too big. You're just right. You're not too big. You just have a self-image problem. You're not too big. The cars are just too small. You're not too big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again. I'm too big to drive. We're going to have a hard time here. Okay. Screw the rules. Come with me. Screw the rules. Come with me. No, I don't want to get in trouble again. They said one more strike. I know and I'm what's out. happening here. I think I know what to do. Well, do you know anyone who can drive? Um, well, do you Here's know anyone who do. can drive? Everybody's gone. Okay, it's the so day of the do. dead, you know. Yeah, yeah, I'm not I gonna know. Tell you. I'm not going to tell you. I'm going to do it. Okay, see you later, chicken. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Here's what... If, if I start going... Wait, how do I get back? Wait, so you don't believe that you're convincing enough? Oh, you think I can still convince him? No. Uh, okay. Have we exhausted all of our options? Uh, I I thought. Okay, I was gonna. I'm gonna go back. Hey, genie, come out of the lantern already! Huh? Come on, Gladys. I need you to be my driver. I told you, I'm too big. You're no. not too big. You just have a self-image problem. A what? Repeat after me. I am not fat. I am thin. Women find me attractive. Hey, I never said I was too fat for the ladies. Just the cars. The ladies like me just fine. <laughs> what, what, what? You, yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey! That gives me an idea. Ah. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick 
torch job to let out the seams, you know? Uh, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. That's what I, I could for. lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, oh. hey, that's my line. Hey, Getting people to, to sign. Adam. Back in a snap. Yeah, Back too snap. small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. So, so on one hand, in this puzzle, you the right choice was the last one you chose. Yeah. So you missed that one. But on the other hand, you solved this puzzle before actually knowing that you need to solve this puzzle. Yeah. With the work but order. I, uh, yeah, and I kind of realized while I was talking to this guy that I needed to utilize that information. Uh, that's why I went to go there earlier. I didn't know I needed to activate his saying he's going to give us a work order. All right, here we go. This may be the only time I, I get a... Wait, where am I going? Get something else, but... What is that horrible squeaking noise you're making? New shoes. <laughs> I have a pair of shoes that, that make squeaking noises that drive me crazy. Um, all right, so let's talk to her. Yeah, Niku is... It has more reasonable... Reasonable Eva, puzzles I really than need Ripper. The boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, for sure. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, cripes, Ava, just sign it yourself, will you? Boom. I'm busy. You'll have to excuse him, Manny. It's probably how many. A really hard I, I, I lucked into this. In how many today? of you had to struggle their, your way? Eva, I mean. Rest. I had no idea Ooh, uh, you had this kind of power. Well, we all have our secrets. Uh, these two are meant for each other. Nice. The fire goes straight to the good cut. Hey, we got our outfit on. Looking good. Oh! See you later. I be a lazy zombie. Hey, I look good in this, don't I? <laughs> yeah, well, they say black is slimming. I'm driving, yeah! I'm driving! <laughs> oh, foul. oh, classic. I could have walked kind of faster imagery. than this. Ugh, híjole, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. He's making his own car noises. Domino. Ooh, the living still what? give me the Heck? creeps. <laughs> <laughs> this is the living. Yeah. These are the living people. This is their how they look to us when we're dead. Yeah. All right. Interesting. What the heck? All right. Uh, give me back the. I think you have to give me back the. Oh, there we go. What the heck is this? I can't use my bare hands. I'm a professional. Hmm. What do I have in my. Sight. There we go. Now I use it. <clears throat> nice, nice bathroom. Wait, what just happened? But we offer several travel package upgrades if you care to cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some rest. Now that's it. Ay ay ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Uh, yeah yeah. Heck yeah. Whatever. Oh yeah. Slam the front into the weeds. 
top the rear end, two blowers popping out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix like this. Oh, on second thought, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, it's wait. the first day of the Can't end of my life. Can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sales, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the clients? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. Who you calling a scumbag? Why well, I oughta... <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take good. one. Okay, so wait, we never went. Uh, okay, I'm a little confused. <clears throat> we went to the uh, uh, the poisoning, mm -hmm. and I, I immediately went to that guy. There was probably other things to explore there, right? No, it was just that guy. Just that guy. That was all that was left. Yeah, okay, you go ahead and smoke for a while there, Manny, while I'm trying to figure some stuff out. Um, he. Uh, and then what did we? What was the package we gave him? We just put him in a coffin and sealed him shut, and that's yeah. Eternity? Because they they get packages according to what they can afford, and if he can't afford anything, then there's nothing Deep. to sell. Just, just foam him to death, foam him for eternity. That was awful. All right, so I think I need to go back out. You do realize he's a skeleton, right? The, the, the guy that we foamed? Yeah. Yeah, but he's stuck in there now, right? Okay. <laughs> this is open. <laughs> Excuse me. Of course, that guy. It's Domino Hurley, the sweatiest man in the office. You gotta sweat this cell, Callie, and you know it. Wait, let me save the game. Whoa! What's up? What you doing? Saving the game. Let's see if we have any mouse. So, how'd you make out of the poisoning? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. Passion? For you trains. Back and you forth got here? a nun? Yeah. Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo choo, little buddy. Say, how'd you score? Got a nun, too. I got two nuns. I got a mean <laughs> midget I had to send parcel posts. I got two nuns, actually. Hey, that reminds me of this really funny joke. Heard it. I want to ask you a question I want to tell you something? I want to punch you in the mouth. I want to punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party all over again. <laughs> what happened at the Christmas party? Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. 
He's gonna say no to that. Why did you get this job? I oh, guess I gotta ask. Can him. I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get one I think you could handle, I can handle anything you got, especially I'm if that's your around. best right jab. I've seen the changes. You get all the, good clients? the background you stays the, the same. Guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. What did but you do to get this job? You can see that the shadow in the original is more success? basic. Well, no, this one I mean, is more how did elaborate. you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit and how long are you going to have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. I want to tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. You know, this used to be my office. I think you're up to something. I think we should team up, be partners. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> I'm not going to be part of this. I want my to... office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. Okay, that's the end of that lecture. Well, thank you for those words of wisdom. Oh, I got, I've got something partners. else to tell you. Let's have it. Uh, I don't want to. I think we should team up. Be partners. Oh, Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. Well, you sound pretty out of breath, so I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. Can I go in here? Oh. Maybe I can steal stuff. Maybe, maybe not. Doesn't look like I can. He's the only one I can get. All right, out of here. Um, back to my office, probably. Ah! Right, let's go back to my computer and see what we need to do. I should close Bruno's record before the black mark burn into my screen. Hey, Black. Hey, Daniel. That's what they did. They just talking about what happened to you. You're Thanks for rubbing it in, game. Uh, all right. Did I do something? Did I do anything? Do I have to do anything? I should close Bruno's record before the black mark burn into my screen. Did I close it? How do I close it? There, there's nothing else you need to do here. Okay. But you have a couple of, uh, of balloons that may be of use. Balloons that may be of use. It's a squeaky little kitty. <laughs> it's a deflated balloon. Where's the Robert Frost? This doesn't look anything like Robert Frost. Okay, so what do I? I don't know why I need that. Do I put it in here? You can try to place the deflated balloon over there. So this is the first time you're using an object with an object, so you need to select it. And then use it on... Right here. That's not what balloons are for. Um, I think I'm done in here. Is there anything else to do in here? Nope. 
Ah. Can you think of a way to inflate the balloon? Um. <clears throat> but what do I need the balloon for? I'm going to need it to... Um, and when do I need it? Do I need it in this area? What? I don't know why I need the balloon yet. Um, uh, well, try to use the balloon on the message tube, right? And did it work? Uh, I'm sorry, say, say it again, Daniel? You tried to use the balloon on the message tube over there, right? Yeah, right. And it didn't work. Maybe it, it's because it was deflated. What is that thing? That's the scythe. The bread of the dead. Okay, so... All right, all right, all right, all right. So let's... <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna. I can't blow it though. Uh, I don't know what the. What, what was there? Something that we've come across that that would that would blow it up? We recently came across something that can be used to inflate the balloon. Um, I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, I mean, you can help me. That's fine. Just tell me which way to go. So it... Go to the room with the chemicals. That's not what balloons are for. That's not what balloons are for. Room with the cubicles. Uh, like downstairs? No, the room with the chemicals downstairs. Down here, this one. Mm -hmm. Is this it? Yep. None never get out of this place. <sighs> you and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? Now it's you think me you're better than me? No. Good. So if you wouldn't have tried to place the balloon inside the message tube, I wouldn't have told you anything. Once you go down the elevator, he would have given you the idea of what can be done with the message tube. And then you would have realized that it's something that you can do yourself without beer bottles. We haven't been in this room before. We've just been over here. When we no, we've never been here, though. Yeah. Sure we have, in the previous cutscene. The previous cutscene took place in this room. When we phoned the guy. These are the pipes. Oh, right, 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 right. Oh, oh okay, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we never walked into this. I, I've never walked into this room through. Okay, so this is, what is this? One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. One of the chemicals for our packing material comes out of there. Um, all right, well, let's do that. Go. You have another balloon? Do I? No, I don't have another. Uh, I don't have another empty balloon. Didn't you ask the clown for two? No. Uh, dead worms? No, I only have one. Okay. I gotta go get another one. If you only have one, then let's go get another one. Uh, yeah, I've got Robert Frost. I got a kitty. I think I have two kitties. Mm. Okay, then let's go get another deflated balloon from the clown. <clears throat> like the music is kind of like making fun of me. Do 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 do. You screwed this up. Well, that's I'm used for ya. 
Alright, let's go this way. Oh, no. It's another balloon animal. Ah, oh, jeez. What now? Do you have any more dead worms back there? Well, sure. Okay. I like that it doesn't take quite so long to get to places when you screw up and have to go back somewhere new. All right. Does it matter which one? I guess not really. No. You should take the other one. You use the yeah. blue one first, then let's use the other one. <laughs> I don't know how it makes me laugh. There we go. Good sound effects. Yeah, the soundtrack is is incredible. It's really great. Well, the sound the sound effects are essential, given that the fact that most of the things, most of the time, you didn't know which items you picked up because it doesn't tell you what you picked up to examine it or. But also the uh, uh, the, the the sound of, uh, track and the mm -hmm. the music is great. It's just great. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me laugh when he just looks right at us. All right, let's put these things in here. Okay, we got work to do. I don't know why we're doing this. There's no... Is this moon logic at this point? There's no, no real reason. No, the, the guy downstairs told you not to throw in beer bottles because it messes up the message too. And usually when they don't tell you... They tell you not to do something in adventure games, the first thing you do is that I get it, thing. But... But I, but what I don't get is why, like what, what is, what is in it for us? What do we know at this point that that's going to do to help us? What are we trying to achieve by doing this? I don't feel like that has been established yet. Okay. I know that I'm not supposed to, you know, I'm supposed to do the opposite of what the game tells me, but I don't feel like we know <laughs> why. Look out below. Yeah. You know, I know I need to find a star client. I understand that, but I still don't understand what the point of this is. Well, well when you get need. when you get that doesn't sound good. When Domino gets a client, for example, then it passes through the message tube, right? And goes directly to him. So if you mess and up, now I've I've, I've I've clogged up the passage to Domino's. I clogged up the passage to everyone's um, messages. So basically, but including including mine, right? Yeah. So now. Hello. Okay, so now I want to go down there and ask them for a message, for a lead. Server's on. down again. What else is new? Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Equally, I got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't <laughs> work for one. You know, Copal's not really in his office. Sweetheart, I know what you're up to. Huh? You're trying to get me away from my desk so you can link all my paper clips together again. Grow up, darling. Well, we gotta get rid of her. Gotta get... What's her name? 
Eva. I can't find my driver. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Okay, so I need to get her away from her desk. How do I get her? Oh, I'm going to go back in here. And I'm going to use the message system to say something like, hey, get out of here. And then she'll leave. And then I'm going to... There's got to be something on her desk that I need. Oh, the leads. The leads are on her desk. All right. Unless I'm barking up the wrong tree, that's what I'm going to try to do. You may be barking up the wrong tree. All right. What should I do? Well, you messed up the, the server. Server room. It's my boss's Why don't we go there? Ava. It's my boss's whipping boy, Manny. Um, is it in here? No, it's where is it? I don't know where the server room is. Is it that same room? No, that's the room with the chemicals. Is it over here? Oh, there we go. <clears throat> ah. Music. The switcher looks pretty gunked up. Um. Not picking that up. Yeah, baby. Uh, yeah. Oh, I can. Oh, not again! Ah, 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 ah. You trying to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher. <laughs> Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding. What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste. I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. That's the same as down. So how long is it gonna be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Can I squeeze in there just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit. Summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, These let me guess. The We're given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. What are you doing? What are you doing? Terrible thing like this. It's those punks in the oh, mail. Room. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. Paul does terrible things like this. What's that? He said who would do a thing like this. Then I said Paul. Paul does me, exactly. terrible things like this. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Just curious, how'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. How do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. Say, uh, chatty Kathy. I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. Hey, we got a, we got a, we got an achievement. achievement. Oh, I'm so proud of it. All right, so well, I don't know what I know. I've got to squeeze down the tube. I got to get him out of there. I don't know why. Just a second. Uh, is 
There's something I need to do while I'm here. Yes, you need to make sure that you'll have access to this room later on. Oh, I think I know what to do. I'm gonna put... Warning. Fire system. Do not touch. That's not on fire. <laughs> uh, okay. The wheel won't budge. Not picking that up. Okay, so I feel like I need to do something with this wheel here. You need to do something to make sure that you'll have access to this room after he leaves it. Right, I thought I would put the fire extinguisher like sort of... You know, yeah, but then he'll it. notice it. It's, it should be something that he won't notice when he closes the door. That's not that. Robert Frost, deck of cards. Ace of spades. Maybe the ace of spades? Robert Frost for sure. Alright, let's do the ace of spades here. I couldn't play this card there. I don't know what to do. How do you keep a door open? You prop it open with the thing. Let's say it closes automatically when you sh shut the door. How do you make sure that it doesn't? Oh, there's something. I couldn't play this card there. Something this with this lock. Not picking that up. Oh. I've just locked an open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. So that will do it, right? for government work. Well played, Paul Morgan Settler. Yeah, well, thanks for the help. Okay, so you just saw that he pulled out a card from the machine. So he used a punched up the punched up card using the machine. Do we have something that might be used instead? Hmm, too much air pressure. Didn't put the card in to stop it. Like something went wonky with the image. What's wrong with the image? Uh, it got uh, it got blown up on. There you go. I don't know what. Yeah, that was it. Okay, cool. Okay, let's see. So I need to punch a hole in the card. Yeah, because the using the card. Yeah. Created too much air pressure, and so the the card got sucked in. So how will you get a punched up card? Uh, 
I'm confused. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm very much. Uh, I need to handle Okay, so you have this card, right? Yeah. Do I use my side? No. But how do you punch holes in something? In an office environment? With a hole punch. Yeah. Who might have one? Oh, I gotta go back up there? Uh, really? All the running around in these games, all the going from one place to another, back up, back down. <clears throat> Just complimented this game that you don't have to run around from place I hate to place. This game. I hate it. It's a terrible game. I gotta get her to leave so I can. Just use say this thanks that you don't don't need to move from island to island like in a Monkey Island game. Oh man! All right, uh, can I use something? Will she let me go? Then I can use. Um, I need to distract her somehow. I know now. I feel like I need to go in this office, say something to make her leave, and then come out and then get the stuff I need. Or is it in my office? Do I have a whole punch in my office? I should. You know, the, the interesting thing, now that uh, we've played for two and a half years adventure games, is then that whenever there's a straight up solution, straightforward solution for something, you'd still try to find the complicated manner to solve it. I'm finding the complicated manner? Happy innovation a tip $10. CWC has provided me with so much lovely entertainment over the past year. I felt compelled Aww. to give some back. Keep on going and getting more visible, you lovelies. Thank, Thank you. Peppina Novatina, what a great name. Peppina Novatina. Thank you very much. I'm glad to hear that. We, Daniel and I sometimes lament whether what we're doing is getting... Uh, not to enough people, I guess that's the wrong way of putting it, but just are we, you know, it's nice to know that, that people are liking this. That's, that's very helpful. Um, well, in that case, I must have a, that, so I should have my own thing in here, right? Or not. Well, this would be the easiest thing, the not complicated thing. The not complicated thing is just trying to do it. With what I, with what's in my... Okay, so I'm going to get the card. There's the card. I'm going to select it. <clears throat> and then I want to... What am I going to do with it? Bunch holes in it. Oh, but how? With something in my... Who might have in this scene over here? Oh, I thought she wasn't going to let me. Oh, I just got to ask her. Okay. That easy, huh? Dang it. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do what you. But I want to. That didn't work. Mm -hmm. Manny, if you don't you mind, don't have your card I've got out. a lot of filing here to do. Right. Oh, I do what you. I do what you. Select. I'm getting the hang. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll figure this out eventually. All right. Maybe card trick some other time when I'm not so busy. Do you know what you should be pointing at? Do you know where it is on the desk? I'm clicking around here. I don't see anything on the desk that looks like a, there's nothing lighting up. Notice I'm looking, nothing, nothing. Don't forget, Nothing. we have several angles that we can oh, review her. of the same location. Really? Oh, for God's sakes. Hey. Manny, what are I'm you doing? I'm sorry, this... Just marking cards, honey. You guys had trouble with this. You all did. None of you did this on your own. Yeah, because, you I know, play this... Card this... There. Unlike point-and-click adventure games, is a puzzle that requires you to find a specific angle. This is a puzzle that reminds you. This is a puzzle get, flesh. To get the, the puzzle guide. Oh, 
Okay, you did this game, you went down two notches in my book, two punch holes in my book here. Mercedes Colomar, client number 9308, blah, 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 died of chicken pox, time of death, yada, 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 aha, positive attributes, volunteered time reading stories to dying children. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. All right, that was funny. You just went up one notch. Gladys, are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. I'm in. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. You're not the nurse. Uh, no. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche. I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. <laughs> Wait, the only implication here is that I'm fired. The only implication here is that I'm fired. Is it something I did? Are you sure? Are you you're sure this? you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? I don't sure. have it anymore. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. <laughs> Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Exactly. Did you kill much when you were alive? Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Or killed anybody? Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. <laughs> Not even a teensy <laughs> bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Daniel? Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Look, Double Fine worked hard on this remaster, so animals? I'd like to show oh, it off. Oh, no, I love animals. Once, when I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I... Just stop right there. Ever cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha! Uh -huh. I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been all volunteer work. Uh -huh. <laughs> Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. Litter? Litter. Oh, Manny, is that the best you can do? Work with me, Mej. Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now if that would help. Wouldn't count. Sorry, I give up. Don't say that, Manny. You know what I have to do? I just have to go hey, straight. Hey, don't this forget mess to out. like and subscribe. Sorry to be so much day. trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble, but please call me Manny. Hey, we got an achievement. Well, I could do. We made a friend. Is that was that our achievement? No, our, our achievement was that we we're trying to dig up some dirt on Mitch. Oh, okay. Right. Azgazareth is uh, right. Double fine did a triple fine on the remaster. All right, so what do I? What have I learned here? I've learned that she's great, and there's no reason that she shouldn't be a top-notch client. Mm. And now, <clears throat> I already talked to her a whole bunch. If you don't do nothing, I'm, I'm going to switch back and forth from the original for you to yet. the remaster. Maybe I'm not the woman you were hoping for. Um, do I need to go away? Back to the computer? Or... 
Maybe you talk to someone around the office. That Colin Barrow, dude. I'm sorry I let you down, Manny. Doors closed. Sorry, let's go talk to our friend, our pal. Hey, funny bones! In my office! Now! You vandalized company property in order to obtain secret information so you could take your they illegally know? modified company car and your <laughs> unregistered driver and run down here off the road. All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent. There's nothing legitimate about this place. You give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to Come call on. the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava, send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. What? You just walked me out of the office a second ago. I yelled at you for Why 15 does she minutes. Think she has to walk. That's the best package I could find for her. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino. Oh, he's messing around with my computer. What's happening? That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Gets pause for a second. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me. We so what I what I, I like about this is that as as duplicitous as they are, as much as they are, you know, competing for sales leads as they're, you know, that at the end of the day, they're all working towards making good souls have better afterlives. That's kind of cool. It's like, it's like, you know what? I can't believe you didn't do the right thing to make sure that this person has a great afterlife. You know, there's this great anger and frustration, but they're actually working towards um, a, a common good goal of goodness, uh, unless I'm missing something. And commissions. Yeah, and commissions, but still, it's all towards helping uh, good souls get a good life uh, in the afterlife. I like that. And commissions. And at least that's what, I'm, that's what I'm getting out of it. Am I getting the right thing out of it, or am I Am I reading too much into it? And commissions. And commissions. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Now we're stuck in here. All right. Then once we, I think we're down to about our last 10 minutes or so here. Thanks everybody for joining us today and for your kind words. And It looks like it dispenses something called philodent. Philodent. Let's dispense it. We gotta put something underneath it, probably. What do we have here? I don't see anyone out there. A window. Not picking that up. What's the straight forward solution? Wait, what? Straightforward solution. Hey! So, Manuel, have you thought about what you have done? <laughs> <laughs> Who's out there? <laughs> I'm you. Or rather, I was you years ago. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost. <laughs> get me out of here. The only way What's out, up, Manuel, Manuel is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, Declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. Yeah, well, I got something to stick in their fold. DOD, believe it or not. Yeah? Well, I got something they can stick in their fold. You have to try harder than that, Manuel. A man's loyalties decide his destiny. My loyalty's still to the DOD, believe it or not. Hmm. 
Good boy. You just keep up that spirit and I'm sure you'll get out of here soon enough. Uh -huh. Let's try again. Hey, guard! How's my little <laughs> Count of Monte Cristo? <laughs> no, really. Who are you? I'm a fellow prisoner, my friend. Maybe, but your cell's a lot bigger than mine, jailmate. What are they gonna do? Look, you got up in that door. Get cracked. I'm thinking about getting out and getting even. That's it. If you are still loyal, lay down and roll over and bark the company fight song. I know. My loyalty is still to the DOD, believe it or oh, not. Oh, and I did that already. Oh, shoot. Good boy. Oh, wait. Are we you just on keep like up a that spirit, and I'm sure right? you'll I get out of here soon right. enough. Okay. This is kind of like uh, the, hey, guard. the insult game where I have my little count of Monte Cristo. No, it's a dialogue puzzle, and you just need to find the right thing to say and say it. What are they gonna do to me? I don't want to alarm you, Agent Calavera, but have you ever seen a man sprout it? No, I don't go to those parties anymore. Yes, I think it was during Pledge Week Sprout anymore. Yeah, I saw this boxer get pretty bad cauliflower. Yeah, I saw this here. boxer get a pretty bad cauliflower here once. Then you don't know. There's nothing more horrible than the bite of the sprouter. Its deadly stinger spreads a green disease through every calcified pore on your body, leaving you veined with roots and flocked with grass, steadily growing thicker and thicker until you crash and bloom out in a horrifying bouquet of pain and fragrant suffering, screaming until hey, your Zuki. mouth fills with petals and your nostrils shoot out thorny. Zuki tipped 10 pieces 08, hey, evening Zuki. gents. Bookkeeper Welcome. and fan reporting in. Tongue out. Stems and the bulbs sprout in your <laughs> eyes, you leaving you nothing but a patch of wild flowers on the ground swarming with butterflies. Are you done? Yes. No, I've never seen that. What sprouting story again? Look, you gotta open that door for me, amigo. Look, you gotta open the door for me, amigo. How many times do I have to say I'm sorry? I do not care if you're sorry. I want to know if you are loyal. My loyalty? Not gonna say that. The DOD how about, is a crooked game and I intend to prove it. Look, I did what I had to do, so what? How about not enough. being loyal to the DOD? The DOD runs a crooked game, and I intend to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. Blow the lid off this place. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place, young man. You are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. Salvador nice. Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? <laughs> to the headquarters of the LSA. LSA? The Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. Oh, I here I was, thinking they were being all... These poor, naive souls of their rightful oh. destinies, leaving nice them no and... option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears. Oh. Unprotected and take alone. it all back. Like I'm, babies, Manuel. Like I want to be part of this club too. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Agent Calavera. Manny suits me fine. I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, Manuel, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. I, 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 I want to join the cause right now. All right, so we're back. Okay, so talk. Good, good angle. Yep. This is so great. 
Look at that. So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. <laughs> <laughs> Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! Maybe you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. Doesn't Cabal wonder where you are? How long have you been a spy? How long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. No, ATM machine just... Salvador Limones, as in save your lemons. Save your lemons and make lemonade. Get it? Nice. Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? What are you working what on? What are you there? working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field, but it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador's right. We need good old fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now, but someday, Manny. Maybe you gotta get me out of here. Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown, some fatty in a fez. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? And how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? Yeah, yeah. Alright, we gotta find out who the fat man is. I'll take that note. That's funny. Ava, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. We need your teeth, Manny. <laughs> we can't let you go. Sorry. So, you won't help me out of here. Sorry. I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. Oh, we got another achievement right at the 2 o'clock mark. Going or die again. Get it to work. Right. Let's talk to Salvador Limones. I don't get it. Nor do I, Manuel. Not yet. I'd put on a hand shadow show, but the mood just doesn't feel right. <laughs> okay, I'm in. What do I have to do? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. You know something I don't know? Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yes. yes I My do. last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. Precisamente. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. How do you say precisely in your mother tongue? Then? Precisely? Yeah, what's the word? How, how would you say that word in, in Hebrew? Precisely is a bidiuk. Bidiuk? Mm -hmm. Nice. I think precisamente wins. Uh, but money's not And the, here. the the translation no, of bidiuk is. You want to get out, Manuel? And so do I. With Sunday. precision. But for some people, this world is With all precision. there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the eighth underworld. And for that, you need money. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carry your pigeons. <laughs> Keep talking about carrier pigeons. If I grab I some it. pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? <laughs> no, I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need oh you to God. bring me their They're eggs. Never... Oh, for goodness sakes. This game is going to go on for a long time. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Now that's all the briefing <laughs> you need, soldier. Viva la revolución! Viva la revolución! Oh, I got another! Man, we're kicking butt on the achievements. And the other right, the I think we're done. Thing. I guess it's a good way. To, it's a good place to stop. 
Good place to stop. Fun, fun. All right, I'm loving it. Let's go back. Let's let's. Okay, so so before you all, we all take off and go about the rest of our day. Um, Daniel and I find, and as I pose most people who do these let's plays on their channel, that we get pretty good. As Daniel said earlier, we got a pretty good r- rate of people that watch the first episode of any game we play, especially a game like this that has a real strong reputation and and a nostalgic factor. But then those numbers go down as we play them. Um, I don't know what my question is, other than do you guys want to see us play this game, continue this game on Friday? Uh, are we going to lose half of you? because you've seen enough. So I guess that would be the thing. We might even do a poll. Let's do a so, poll. So on... write yes in the chat if you're going to stick around for another episode. Or but no. write no if you're not. And I want to hear no, too. The no's, yeah. that's fine. No one's going to be upset. I just want yeah. if it's as many no's or more no's than yeses, then, then we will take that into consideration and never finish a game again. We will only start games and never finish them. Um, and remember, no need to fight each other. If someone's saying, if someone says no, that's completely fine. Yeah, I mean, some of you are so good at like just coming, and you, we've got some folks that that join us regardless, which is great. And you're you're loyal fans, and you're kind of here for the company, which is awesome. But for those of you who are kind of new, who haven't really been watching all of it, and you're just here to see this game, do you want more of it, or would you want to see? Uh, something else or are you moving on to another channel getting a lot of yeses it looks like cool so we're going to continue playing this game and i think that from now on i'm not sure if uh, asking the people in the chat yeah can give us a clear uh, picture of what the people who watch the vod later on are going to think so maybe we're going to open a new channel on our discord server which will be called polls and then whenever we finish, uh, whenever we end the live stream, then we send people to Discord to vote for it. And if enough people vote yes, then we continue. If people vote that's no. That's a great idea. All right. Um, before we go, uh, I just want to remind anybody who's joined us for the first time, to please like and subscribe. That really helps us. To, you know, we're, we're closing in on 8,000 subscribers on mm-hmm. YouTube. So it would be fun to get there by the end of this week. How fun that we're getting close to 10,000 subscribers after two plus years of of toil you know, at, and trouble. And at the beginning of 2023, I told you that my goal for 2023 is to end the year with 10,000. So now that we're at 8,000 with yeah, two months to go, maybe uh, we'll get to 10,000. Nice. So please like and subscribe if you can. Uh, for those of you who have. Uh, uh, donated today thank you so much can't tell you how much it helps because i just we lose people you know for us to maintain this channel we have to stay at a certain level for us to be able to take time off of our other work to do this and um honestly at the moment we're at the lowest ebb we've been at for a long time it's a little nerve-wracking because it just means that we both have to put in more hours at our other thing and yet we are putting a ton of uh content up right now so if you can subscribe uh and in any way and help us financially that certainly makes a big difference for us um but please if you can't like and subscribe join our discord channel uh it's a great group lots of fun conversations and then you can join those polls and other things so um that's all i got you got anything yeah we'd like to uh you know, we said that uh, we're streaming more than ever. And so it seems that the more we stream, the less we get. I know. Because back when you streamed once monthly, month. yeah, once a month, then it was practically at the same level. And then when we yeah. stream once a week. Well, it, was, it was new then. And people were, you know, trying to help me get started before you came on. Um, but. Anyways, who knows the answer, but we, you know, we certainly could use the the support and I'm tired of begging for that stuff. So I'm going to stop, but um, have a great rest of your day. Uh, I don't know for sure if I'm going to stream tomorrow, but just keep an eye out on discord and on uh, social media. And I'll let you know if I'm going to jump on to uh, 
uh, Kentucky Route Zero or not. So, but we'll definitely be back on Friday with Grim Pandango. All right. Bye. Bye. See you later, guys. Precisamente.